I need to make this video very, very, uh, just call me the whistleblower. Now, I don't want to give my name or nothing like that, but I got a potting shed at the end of the garden, and uh, the British government approached me and said, can you put 50 migrants in your potting shed and we'll give you £100,000 a day? I said, of course I can, fucking perfect. So I took these emigrants and put them in my potting shed, and everything was fine. And I thought to myself, yeah, that's, that's fine, I'm earning a lot of money from this and it was wonderful but then then the other night uh, I, I, I have to say I received a load of crates and 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 and, and in the crates I wasn't going to look because I said even though you got your name on it and the military delivered it to the parting shed they said you can't yeah I said I can't fit it in the parting shed I got 50 migrants in there what, what am I supposed to do with it they said put it in your bathroom put it in your bathroom it'll be fine I said okay I put it in my bathroom so I put it in my bathroom Anyway, I was talking to my friend Trevor, and Trevor said to me, You know what, Beryl? You should, you should fucking... Beryl's not my name, by the way. I just thought I'd say Beryl, because I like the sound of it. But anyway, he said, Beryl, why don't you go to your bathroom? It's got your name on it. And open it. Looks seems very suspicious. So I went up there, and I opened it. And when I opened it, it said, Thermal Nuclear Fucking Device. I thought, what the fuck's this? So I took it to me fucking... I took it to me garage. I got a Bare little garage down down the road, and I put it in there. I think it'll be fucking sound in there now. Now, don't worry, I won't let nobody get to it. Ah, lovely. So, this one, guys, I don't come on here and fucking fear monger, right? Hey, then, Hans, but I've got some questions. They're important questions, and I think you should stick around, guys. How's it going? Hey, then, Hans, hey, then, um, hey, then, Nicky. I think you should stick around for this, guys, really. <laughs> Cheers, Martin. Because, <laughs> um, this is, this is... Some people might see this as fear-mongering, right? And I don't come on here with a fearful shit. I always try and empower people and make them realise their power. Oh, right, yeah, uh, or, or at least question the fuckers that are trying to take away our power, right? But, there's some shit going on right now. I'm sure plenty of you people have seen the videos and are aware of not about me and Mark sex and none of that nonsense. The I'm a bothered. I'm, I'm a bothered though. <laughs> Look at my face. Is my face bothered? No. Look, face, Charlie, face, bothered. I ain't bothered. So I sent a video today saying that AK AK forty sevens, yeah. Were found in those ho in one of those hotels down in Bristol. Right? The bloke who owns the hotel stating that he'd found something in his hotel where he's housing these people now. Also stating that the government contacted him to say, would you like to house these people? We can give you a guaranteed income in these hotels. We can fill your hotel and you'll always have money. And all this shit, okay? So this guy is talking about how he's giving his hotels to these people, okay? Uh, the, he's found weapons in his hotel, okay, he's not the only person who's found them apparently as well. And then, okay, this coincides with Hamas attacking Israel. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm -hmm. Eh? Yes. Look at you. Because I don't know any facts, I'm not going to pretend to fucking know, I'm just going to say what I think, what I've seen, probably being manipulated, probably being lied to, but I have to be able to speak about it, so don't necessarily say that I believe everything I'm saying, I'm saying that this seems to be happening, okay? You don't have to believe everything I say, you know, make your own fucking mind up, but it looks like we've got loads of people in this town, in this country, right? Now, in Bristol, they found AK-40 fucking sevens and grenades in one of those hotels, right? And then Hamas have called for an international day of fucking jihad against the West. All in that short space of time. And it's got my brain ticking. And I've spoke, I've rang everyone. I've rang fucking everyone who I can think of today and spoke to them to find out what they think. Because I can't make a decision on whether to believe it or not based on information coming through the TV or based on information coming from the fucking conspiracy theory side of things or even stuff coming from the internet that I'm looking for myself. But it's trying to put two and two together and not come up with five. Just gonna wait a few minutes. See. 
I forgot the magic potions. My neighbor's dog always gets the magic potions when I'm live. Doesn't stop barking. Hi guys. How's everyone doing? I think my neighbour's dog gets the notifications before you do when I go live. It does not shut up. How is everyone? Norman, Norman. hi, hi, hi Norman, how are you doing? Hmm. How's it going? Hi! Just wanted to quickly jump on. And, uh, um, have a chat because stuff is happening with this, uh, Palestine and, uh, Israel and everything. What have you been up to today? <laughs> I don't know actually what I've been up to. I've started my new way of eating. And so I'm on a new um, course, new plan. So I've been tired actually, but I've been good. Been out, been to a cake shop, had no cake, had a coffee. Um. Anyway, so there's there's lots going on at the moment. Um. And I just wanted to just put a thought out there at, right now. There's a lot of um news with these immigrant situation. Um, I know that there's a video flying around. Hi, hi Dawn. I know there's a video flying around where this hotel manager finds a whole load of weapons like AK-47s and um, grenades that was sent to his hotel where he is housing over 200 immigrants. Um, and obviously we've got this war going on, um, yeah, hi Doug, you're just watching that, because I, um, yeah, I mean, I'm not saying it's not possible, but from what I've been told by a few military people, um, it would be very hard to move one box of guns, because they are extremely, extremely heavy, you would need at least two men. So, there's a lot of things that don't add up. However, what I don't believe in the gun thing. I think the gun thing is there to drive the fear, personally. That's just my opinion. But I just want to say, I'm not saying that these immigrants are not here to cause trouble. I absolutely do believe they're here to cause trouble. Do I keep breaking up? Um... Um, I've seen that twice now and it's two different voices. Yeah, the same thing. It doesn't make sense to me. It really doesn't. His story doesn't add up either. Anyway, what I want to just talk about quickly, because I'm not going to be long, is obviously there's marches that have been organised uh, for Saturday, this weekend. Um, Palestine. March for Palestine, um, and I would absolutely urge anyone to spread the word to stop people going to any of these marches. Hello, good day and welcome. My name is Michael Manuel Chage and this is Mad Mix Conspiracies. Sorry if you guys were just watching the video, I deleted it. Um, I'm redoing it. Because I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask questions, right? So here's the thing, right? Um, the COVID never come. Alex Jones is insiders, COVID mandates, um, mask mandates never happened. So that was meant to happen last month. So, you know, the way I like to do when people tell you that all this shit is happening, and I tell you that it's just not, right? So the COVID ain't back. But it doesn't matter now because we've got the war in Iran, um, in Israel. So that's going to keep us entertained. We don't need the COVID because we've got the Israel war. Now, um, here's the thing. You guys have seen the videos. I've seen the videos. One from the hotel manager who's been delivered 
ammunition and um, weapons and hand grenades and another one a guy who's got some mates who are ex-military who are staking out hotels and they've got evidence video evidence and photographic evidence of ammunition arms and grenades being delivered to the hotels for the immigrants to shoot us all and depopulate the country right so it's, we're going to get down to 15 million because all these million Muslim immigrants are going to go around, they put them all around the country so they're strategically placed and now they've got guns, um, AK-47s or something, I think they were, and they're going to shoot everybody and then that's going to depopulate and then everything's going to be great, the overlords are going to be happy. If you're prepared to believe that shit, to me it's all bollocks, it's the same bollocks that they told you that the military are coming to hold you down and inject you. They're going to take your children into care if you don't get them jabbed up. They're going to fucking... Everyone who's had the jab will be dead inside a year. This is all propaganda to scare the, the anti-vaxxers. And it's worked because anti-vaxxers aren't the brightest of people. We've seen that over the last fucking few years. They follow these Pied Pipers. Oh, this one, he's such a nice celebrity on the telly. He's so good. Russell Brand, blah, blah, blah. This one, that one, this one, that one. And they're all so great and... We're going to write letters to our MP and we're going to do this, that and the other. It's all bollocks, guys. It's all bollocks, right? So if you're prepared to believe that they're arming the military, that they're arming the um, refugees and they're, they're delivering cases of fucking machine guns to hotel managers with no security clearance at all, then you're delusional. But here's the thing. Instead of a guy sitting there on, the, on his phone saying that he knows someone who's staking out hotels, but he don't want to say who they are because he doesn't want it to release their identity for their protection. Here's the thing, right? Imagine every hotel in the UK has been staked out by ex-military, right? And now they've got proof footage that the UK government are supplying all these immigrants with weaponry. They've got proof, proof of it. So what do they do? They phone up their mate and say, oh, you wouldn't make a video on social media saying, no, you would share that shit all over the place. Everybody in the UK would know that these fucking hotels were being delivered weaponry. Everybody would know. So a guy sitting there saying he knows someone who knows someone who's sitting outside a hotel is bollocks. If there was video evidence, if there was photographic evidence, it would be all over social media. And it ain't. So it's all bollocks. And then even if it was, you'd have to question it. You'd have to see that in every single hotel. But if these ex-military are outside staking out every single hotel, filming them, then put the fucking videos out there. Put the proof of the pudding. Don't phone your mate and say, oh, you couldn't make a video saying that we've seen some fucking boxes being delivered. Amazon delivered some fucking iPhones. Fucking hell. Show us the proof. Show us the proof. If you're making fucking videos and putting them all out social media talking shit, show us the fucking proof, right? You're saying in the video that there's proof, you're saying there's video footage, you're saying there's photographs, show us the proof. And if anyone on my channel has got the proof, please send it to me. I want to see it. Post it all over my page. Post all over my page hotels being delivered with crates of ammunition, crates of weaponry. Please post it on my page. Send it to me directly. Not some guy sitting on his phone saying, oh, someone told me. It's all bollocks, guys. It's all fucking bollocks. Protect yourselves and your families from all these cunts. Fucking mad cunts. Online misinformation can spread even in the absence of concrete evidence due to a variety of factors. Here's an overview of how this can happen. Confirmation bias. People often seek out and believe information that confirms their existing beliefs and opinions. When a piece of misinformation aligns with someone's preconceived notions, they are more likely to accept and share it even if there is no evidence to support it. Emotional appeal, misinformation that taps into people's emotions, such as fear, anger, or outrage, tends to spread rapidly. Emotional content can elicit strong reactions and impulsive sharing, irrespective of its veracity. The viral nature of social media. Social media platforms are designed to facilitate the rapid sharing of information. Misinformation can quickly go viral when it is shared by influential users, celebrities, or through coordinated efforts amplifying its reach. 
The lack of fact-checking, many people do not fact-check the information they encounter online before sharing it. Misinformation can propagate when individuals assume that others have already verified the content or when they share it without critically evaluating its accuracy. Filter bubbles and echo chambers, online algorithms often expose users to content that aligns with their existing beliefs. This can create filter bubbles and echo chambers where people are less likely to encounter information that contradicts their views and more likely to see and share information that reinforces their existing opinions, including misinformation. Cognitive biases. People are prone to cognitive biases, such as the availability heuristic, which leads them to give more weight to information that is easily accessible or memorable. Misinformation can become more accessible in people's minds, leading to its spread. Sensationalism. Misinformation that is sensational or shocking tends to grab people's attention. This encourages sharing, even if the information lacks credible evidence. Lack of media literacy. Many individuals are not adequately educated about how to critically assess information they find online. This can result in the uncritical acceptance and sharing of misinformation. Manipulative actors. Some individuals or groups intentionally spread misinformation to achieve their goals, which can include political influence, profit, or simply sowing discord. They may employ tactics like fake news websites or astroturfing creating fake grassroots movements to give misinformation the appearance of credibility. Rapid response to current events. Misinformation often spreads in the wake of major news events or crises. People may be eager for information, and misinformation can fill the information gap before reliable sources can confirm the facts. To combat the spread of online misinformation, it's crucial to promote media literacy, encourage critical thinking, fact-check information before sharing, and rely on trusted news sources. Social media platforms and individuals can play a role in minimizing the amplification of false information by being discerning about what they share and engage with online.